Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good today. So in today's video, I have my coffee with me. I have some makeup products that I want to talk to you guys about. Actually, these are makeup products that were suggested by you guys. You guys told me to test out some of these products and I tested them out on my face. Uh, before starting, I do want to say my nails look extremely extremely bad and that is because i got this inside nail uh, polish that yesterday yeah yesterday i got this inside nail polish and while i was applying it first of all i'm really messy when it comes to nail polish applying nail polish and stuff like that the second thing is that uh the brush wasn't that good so it was extremely messy and this just came off so it's my hands are really not that good but anyway let's move on with the video now also if you are someone who's new to my channel thank you so much for watching this video i hope you like it here i mostly post about oh, i mostly post about affordable makeup skincare fashion on this channel so if that's a video you want to watch every single day almost you can hit the subscribe button along with that notification bell as well so let's get into the video now so the first product we have here is this uh, swiss beauty flawless moisture primer first of all i want to appreciate the packaging of this and the second thing is it's extremely heavy like it is extremely extremely heavy it feels like i'm not holding a makeup product it feels like i'm holding some kind of gym equipment i'm not kidding you guys it is extremely heavy uh so the uh, first thing i want to talk about this is that the price point the price point of this is 600 rupees now 600 is i would say moderately affordable but when you consider that this is coming from a brand like swiss beauty you start to wonder why because swiss beauty prices are always under 300 400 you know so six 600 rupees for a primer i was like let me test it out so so i tested this yesterday and i realized that this is exactly like a moisturizer like there is no difference between this and a moisturizer although i would say this is feels very similar to the priming moisturizer from sugar cosmetics so i just feel like both of them are very very similar even the uh, fragrance of this like it has very mild fragrance i would say but it does have fragrance and the fragrance of this is also very similar to the sugar beauty one so i just see that there is no difference and um will i tell you guys to go ahead and buy it i have dry skin i didn't really like the primer but i do have something like this already in my collection so i just don't think it is something very unique also the price range is a little bit high for swiss beauty i would say so it's up to you you decide if you want to get this primer if you have dry skin and i think you might like it but i just don't see the necessity you know uh so moving on to my next product we have this blue heaven hyper matte foundation now this matte foundation is something a lot of you guys requested so i was like you know what let me just get it uh, the shade actually did match me this time so this is the blue heaven i don't know the shade name uh, so this is the shade natural sand so this uh, natural sand does match me really nicely so this doesn't have a ton of coverage it's not like a heavy coverage foundation it's something that you can wear on a day-to-day -day basis although i do have to say i have dry skin and um a lot of the times i tend to skip matte foundation i do wear matte foundation during summers but during winters i don't tend to wear a lot of matte foundation but since a lot of you guys requested i tried this i got it and i do have to say the you know the uh, the coverage the way it feels on my skin the way it's sitting on my skin actually right now it's really good i mean i don't really hate it or i don't really extremely like it also but i feel like after you know at the end of my video i was starting to feel a little bit dry since it is a matte foundation so i use the pack micro finish to just you know just give me the dewiness back revive my makeup a little bit you guys know i love glowy skin so this actually did make my skin very very matte and uh, it's not something that i feel like i will wear during winters first of all why did i even try a matte foundation but i just think that it is a matte foundation that i know i'll be using in summers on an everyday basis because i like the formulation of this the formulation isn't bad it's just not for my skin at least right now because the weather is still not you know that humid where i live it's not that winter anymore but it's not like too humid also so it's right somewhere in between where i feel like i still need to wear a glowing foundation or hydrating foundation i would say so yeah i just feel like this foundation was good but definitely not for this time of the year so the next product is something that actually i got it you guys didn't request to see this product i just got it so this is the k beauty uh crayon eye crayon this is the only thing i have going on on my eyes 
first of all when i got this i thought i was going to do like a one done smoky eye i love that kind of makeup where it's like just apply one thing and go out the door you know uh, i want like that kind of makeup right now that is my vibe so i got this thinking i could do like a smoky eye within like five minutes so i was thinking of doing like a whole tutorial also like five minutes smoky eye oh my god it is a mess like like this this is not a bad product this is a good product but it's not something i feel like i can wear alone i had to go in with another you know another sort of a transition color to just make it look a little bit more put together i mean i do like the messy smoky eye look as well but i feel like i cannot pull that off i i just don't think i can pull this look off i look very very weird i feel like today but anyway i tested it out it is very creamy i feel like it is going to stay on also for quite some time i mean much more than uh you know powder eyeshadows the thing i would say about this is that it's extremely creamy so you do have time to blend it out in a way you desire so i just feel like you have that time you have that you know a lot of the times when you use cream shadows you don't have that time to blend out your eyeshadows or blend out that product i feel like with this you have the time but i mean it's my fault that i thought it was going to be like a one done product for a smoky eye but i feel like at least for me right now i need to go in with two or three different eye shadow to blend this product out into a nice transition other than that the product in itself it's quite good and i see myself experimenting a lot of different looks with this just today was a flop you know some days it's not a good makeup day and today is that day for me so the next product i tested out is this is the insight um this is the lash extension mascara now i got this extremely affordable under rupees 200 or 250 so i think i really like it at least for now you guys know i always tend to like mascaras after one month of use or two months of use even so initial application is just okay i just don't want to give you guys a bad opinion or you know just a bad review about this because I just love mascaras after a month. It just is the best time to use a mascara after opening, you know, after the one month period. This is going to get thicker. I feel like the brush actually is nice. It did separate my lashes. So I'll see the, how the formulation works after one month. So I'll keep you guys updated on this. So far, I just have a feeling that this is going to be good. Like I can see my lashes being separated. So yeah, I just, I'm hopeful for this product next thing that i'm going to show you guys is the best product from this entire thing that i'm going to show you for today's video i feel like this was the best product so this is the cuffs and lashes this is the skin tint not skin tint sorry it's a cheek tint cheek tint yeah so it's a cheek tint and first of all i do have to say my cream blushes or my cheek tints are all like stiff in formulation because it's winter right now and if i have to apply any cheek tint i'll have to go in with my fingers and just warm it up so i was like expecting the same kind of consistency with these as well but i was so shocked to see that these are so creamy especially in this weather it's extremely extremely creamy already and i was like you know when i when i initially went in with this i thought it was going to be you know less pigmented just like a normal skin tints or sorry cheek tints but i was shocked to say that this was pigmented and i was like oh my god it's a lot pigmented i have to blend it out you know but while i was blending it out i actually used this yesterday also uh, you know just i was doing trial in my makeup room so i just used this and i noticed that this blends out so well it blends out so perfectly now it looks like skin i am in love with this like i know i use this only like twice but i love the formulation of this so much it's much more better than a lot of uh, cream blushes that i have and i'm going to compare this with a lot of other formulation too in the future videos but just initial review i absolutely love it it is pigmented yet it blends out in a very very natural way i already got like six blushes from the cuffs and lashes because they sent me i believe the you know uh, blush shades on the screen so that it's easier for you guys my favorite one has definitely uh, is the 06 lactose free so this is the one that i have 
mixed in a little bit with uh, 05. So 05 and 06. 05 is a little bit more peachy. 06 is a little bit more dark. And I feel like the shades they have is a variety of shades, a variety of nudes, variety of pink. So if you are someone who likes, uh, you know, testing out different uh, shades of cheek tint you can definitely look into these because i totally love the formulation it's definitely not your usual typical cheek tint or cream blush formula uh, this is much better so the last thing we have here is this inside cream lip color now when i got this i when i saw this actually on uh, nika i was like is this similar uh, to the gloss they have this looks super super glossy it says it's a cream type of a formula is this a lip lacquer so i just got it to test it out and it's actually uh you know to my shock it's actually a matte lipstick but in a cream consistency so when you initially apply this you have this amazing creamy consistency and then after that it settles into a really nice soft matte finish i would say it's much more like the nyx uh NYX Soft Matte Cream Lipstick, it's exactly similar to that kind of formula. So if you like that kind of a matte lipstick, you know, soft matte effect with cream formula, I do think that you might want to check this out. I will leave all the links and everything in the description box. So for today's video, I do have to say the hit was definitely the Chick Tint from Cups and Lashes. I did like the foundation too, but it's not just for today. Also, I used a different lipstick for today, like this one, um, this particular shade that I got brown wasn't really looking good with the eyes it was just so much of a contrast so I just put another lipstick anyway um I like the primer too is it something that you definitely have to get no I don't think so um so so far it was just an okay-ish type of a product review I just I just don't know what to say but I feel like you know not every day is something that I discover really nice products so I just feel like it was not bad uh, but it was just not that great except the cream blush tints I loved it so much I just think that I'm going to wear this so much during summers and during this time of the year as well so anyway thank you so much for watching this video i hope you liked it if you are someone who's new to my channel thank you so much for watching this video and you can hit the subscribe button along with that the notification bell as well because that way you are going to stay updated every time i post a new video which is almost every single day so anyway i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye and i realized that this is exactly like a moisturizer oh bhagwan